Welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Diamond Select Lord of the Rings Deluxe Gollum figure. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Shout out and thank you so much to my friends over at Diamond Select for sending me over this amazing figure for me to shoot and review for you guys. So yes, today we are taking a look at the Diamond Select Lord of the Rings Deluxe Gollum. This guy comes with so much stuff, guys, including this amazing rock-based diorama right here. And if you know me, you know I love figures that come with diorama pieces so yeah this guy is super awesome and as you can see he also comes with the one ring to rule them all so yes guys this is their deluxe golem and like i said he comes with a lot of great accessories so why don't we go ahead and jump right on into that starting off with of course a basic diamond select base so i feel like this golem aside from being a deluxe release for the figure slash character itself was also somewhat of an expansion pack for your already existing lord of the rings figures now i may be wrong but i feel like that's kind of the sense i get uh because he comes with a lot of things that seem to fit other characters in the lord of the rings franchise and lore and not so much him but we'll get to that in a bit let's go ahead and take a look at his alternate heads because this guy comes with not just one other alternate head but two so you get three different heads with this guy you do get the one that he is currently using right there which he is using to really stare at that ring um, but of course you do also get an extremely angry golem face right here and man does he look mad but very well nicely done and detailed i don't know about you guys but i can hear him screaming through this head sculpt i absolutely love it but the great thing about this head sculpt is that you can actually utilize it um, in a different way other than just straight anger with um, some of the other accessories that this guy does come with which we will get into in a sec we do also get a neutral head now unfortunately i feel like my right eye or his left eye uh, was kind of painted a little too much to the side i feel like it was supposed to be a little more over here but it's okay it's Gollum. he's a little wonky you know it might actually be correct i might just be thinking or uh, remembering incorrectly as to you know his eye situation but that is it in terms of his alternate heads that he does come with but he does come with a lot of great alternate hands so he does come with one unique hand being the one that he is currently using in his right arm right there which comes with the ring already in between his index and thumb but aside from that you do also get a pair of open kind of like relax uh hands in a way uh, he has the other one in right there kind of clutching onto the rock base you do also get a pair of uh i call these fish holding hands because uh you get fish with him, you know what I mean? Uh, or wait, you guys don't know what I mean. Oh, shit. Spoiler alert, guys. He comes with fish. Um, so, yeah. Uh, he does also come with some pretty wide sea grip hands right here. Uh, probably to choke out Frodo if you've seen the movie. You know what I mean, which I'm pretty sure you've seen the movie if you're here. So, moving on to the other accessories. Like I just spoiled, he does come with some fish right here. So, uh, if you know Golem, you know he loves him some fish. Now, remember I said you can use his alternate anger face for something else? Well, it's this exactly. Him biting into a fish. So, yeah, he could either be really angry or really hungry. It's up to you. Um, but, yeah, so he comes with two of those fish. But now we're going to get into the other stuff that he comes with that feels like more of an expansion pack. Uh, aside from that base, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, he obviously comes with this rock base, so he doesn't really need a standard base, uh, but I feel like they included that in case any of your other Lord of the Rings figures, uh, you know, kind of needed one. But he does come with some weapons, which is kind of odd, because if I do remember correctly, he really never... Uh, touches a weapon in lord of the rings you know uh so that's why i feel like this is more of an expansion pack so he does come with these twin swords right here which very much look like the swords that the elves use uh like orlando bloom's character and stuff so these may actually be for legolas but i may be mistaken uh he does come with a hatchet uh, and this could be for gimki uh so you know so yeah it looks like it should be uh and also he comes with three really long arrows which is why i think you know once again expansion pack especially for legolas you know maybe they wanted to give you a few extra arrows uh so yeah that is it in terms of everything that this guy does come with uh except for that rock base which we will take a closer look at right now when we do pull him forward so with that being said why don't we go ahead and pull him forward so we can take a nice closer look and move on into 
his articulation. All right, guys, so here we have him all nice and close to the camera. First off, let's go ahead and take a look at this rock base, which I will say is beautifully done. I mean, look at this. I cannot wait to just use this as a normal diorama piece in my toy photography, uh, let alone just the figure itself. This guy is so comical. He just looks so you know, enamored with that ring right there. My precious. You know, that's literally the perfect head sculpt for this guy. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this rock based diorama piece. It is beautiful. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and pull Gollum off that and take a closer look at the overall figure. Let's go ahead and put him in a standing pose uh, because he's just basically in that crouching position right there. Uh, so let's go ahead and stand him up. Strain him out, and here is a old ugly boy right here. Man, Diamond Select really did a good job in capturing this guy's ugliness, you know? Uh, the detail in the sculpt is pretty phenomenal. Uh, man, I, I really need to go rewatch those movies. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, yeah, it is Gollum. I mean, look how nasty and dingy he looks. You can see his spine poking out, because yeah, he's a pretty thin guy, because like I said, all he does is eat fish when he can't get his hands on it, so fish! So, <laughs> just having a bit of fun there, guys. Uh, but yeah, guys, really love the detailing in this sculpt. Like I said, they really did a good job with that uh, and the overall body itself. So, I guess with that being said, guys, why don't we go ahead and move on into this guy's articulation. He can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. He can look down uh, somewhat. He can look up a decent amount, but basically just back at you. His arms will go out to a T-post. 360 rotation single hinge elbow joint with rotation at that elbow joint rotation at the wrist hinging in and out taking a look at his mid torso uh, it will rotate there uh, ab crunch ever so slightly down not back at all because of the way his back is hunched naturally as a character so can't really fall diamond select for that when it's you know the character sorry guys i pulled a little too hard on that leg so let's just go ahead and pop that back in and so yeah he won't split out too far so unfortunately or maybe fortunately for everybody uh he can't join the cheerleading squad i mean who would really want to see him cheer right um no thigh cut or swivel uh but he will kick forward pretty far i mean you saw him crouch down on that rock guys so yeah he has pretty decent leg mobility if you can work it out uh, he does come with a single hinge knee right here with a rotation at that knee and last but not least he does come with ankle articulation down that far up that far and of course a really good ball rocker hinge so yeah guys that basically wraps it up for this guy's articulation all right guys that has been my review of the diamond select lord of the rings deluxe golem figure once again shout out and thank you so much to my friends over at diamond select for sending over this amazing figure for me to shoot and review for you guys and if you've made it this far please type down in the comments below my precious that way i know you made it this far and you're enjoying the content now let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that i took of this guy if you do enjoy this video please remember to give it a like share comment and subscribe and as always have a great fucking day